So today I was doing a little bit of malware analysis and I noticed that a lot of people are getting infected with a new variant of a crisis slash Dharma ransomware attack. So today I'm going to show you a little bit of my analysis and also a solution. All right, real quick, this video is for educational purposes, and while there is a solution to this particular type of malware, if you're currently in a crisis and you need to remove whatever you have right now, check my video right up here. It's a remove all viruses in one step video. It has over 1.3 million views and it's been extremely successful. There's also the updated version which you can check, and I'll put that in the description. All right, so the sample that we're gonna run a test on right now is called Paradise Ransomware. It's a Dharma slash crisis variant of ransomware, which was pretty terrible when it was uh, really prevalent. And I found some interesting features as this is being run on Windows 7, it's still being configured to run on Windows 10. So I found some interesting things, which I'll show you. I'm gonna go ahead and start out the task here. We're running this on our virtual machine service called any.run, you can check it out. However, you should take some safety precautions. Okay, so we're going to put this on the desktop real quick. We'll put in the password. And it takes some security here. Now we're going to fix the extension because this is an EXE, but the extension has been removed for safety purposes. You wouldn't want to accidentally click on this on your computer. And I'm going to close this. All right, after this is executed, <clears throat> A lot of stuff going on, and the funny thing is, is I did some tests while running it elevated. It actually didn't work right when running as administrator, but after running it at regular tasks, it worked completely. I think the reason that it didn't execute as administrator was it actually has a privilege escalation uh, task, which got interrupted. With new and dangerous threats emerging every day, protect yourself and your family with one of the most trusted and advanced security suites ever developed. For over 20 years, Kaspersky has been trusted to protect users large and small, including nuclear power plants, cloud storage data servers, and even entire countries. While keeping the secrets of global significance and personal importance, Kaspersky is trusted to protect hundreds of millions, including the reputations of IT giants. Kaspersky has developed hundreds of patented technologies, which enable Kaspersky's thousands of experts in protecting against countless cyber attacks, including a multi-billion dollar online bank heist. Use the link in the description and put Kaspersky in between you and the bad guys. So a lot of things happened here. First thing that it did was it writes to the start menu file, then it tries to disable um, Windows Defender. On Windows 7 and Windows 8, this would totally succeed because the method that it uses was it tries to write to the registry, and it does, to disable anti-spyware. On Windows 10, after November 2020, that's not possible to the registry. So this actually wouldn't affect you there. However, if this is not detected by Defender, which it currently isn't, um, especially since these are being used targeted with new signatures, just modified a few pieces of code, then it's a new piece of malware, um, this would totally infect you and the fact that Defender can't detect it, it doesn't need to be disabled at that point. Like I said, the registry change goes after Defender. It also starts modifying internet settings and it uses a lot of modules and let's go over to the other executable this generates another task with the same executable and this one generates a whole lot of files including other executables such as this trojan horse here which we can look up a virus total and this one is a very dangerous trojan which is part of the ransomware payload but this also acts as a dropper this means that this is going to persist and going to come back during boot up and really compromise the OS. So at this point of the infection, if you were at this phase, let's go back to it. If you're at this phase of the infection, where this has gone on, if your antivirus didn't stop it, most likely at the initial executable, then you're gonna be looking at a rollback recovery. If your antivirus has a rollback, such as Kaspersky Internet Security and some other security suites where you can kind of roll back your files, they would already be encrypted at that point. And at this point of the infection, you would automatically be rebooted unless something happened. If you could find a way to prevent a reboot and clean this before then, you might have a chance but more than likely it's gonna automatically reboot you. Upon reboot, you'll come up with the terrifying, you've been encrypted. This is the ransom note that would be left on your desktop. All your files have been encrypted. Contact us via email listed below. 
And then their Paradise Ransomware team. Wow, so professional. Now for the good news. Despite this being technically a new threat, it's actually just a new variant of an older ransomware. And there's free decryption tools made by two of the companies that I'm actually affiliated with, ESET and Kaspersky. Follow me. Now, while finding the individual decryptors through the website is a little bit tedious, but you can actually access both of the decryptors for Kaspersky and ESET through this article, which I'll link in description. It's here at PCWorld.com, and there's the, the direct downloads right here, the one for ESET. And if you check right here, it is actually coming from ESET. It's not some GitHub or some random download. And then this one here is also coming from media.kaspersky.com. So they are valid links, and you can get them right there. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also support me on Patreon and also get exclusive access to things before they come out. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and I'll see you next time.